Well, small businesses have been suffering during this coronavirus outbreak, with a lot of them trying to figure out how can they survive. K-33 launched Operation Shop Local to highlight local restaurants, repair shops, and other stores that are open. And other movements are popping up, too, to urge you to support those businesses. David Frisch with Our Town of Greater Sacramento is joining us live to talk more about this Shop Local Now movement. Good morning, David. Good morning. You know, it's been really interesting to see how small business has had to do almost like an instant pivot and figuring out what they can versus what they can't do. Yeah, the local businesses in the area, what they're doing is they're having to adapt to these changes that were occurring right now. And what they're doing is, as you can imagine, is they've had to uh, take into account social distancing and other factors. But we did want to let them know that they are open and we need to support these local businesses. Yeah, I mean, that's what's going when we come out of this eventually. You, you are going to want to be able to go back to all these places. And that means figuring out ways to support them now. You know, one of the questions I get emailed from viewers all the time is, I am a small business. I want to provide a service, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that right now. What advice have you been giving to small businesses in terms of trying to figure out that pivot and provide services that they can make money from right now? Yeah, what you're finding out those small businesses are, they're asking us questions on what they can do. And as you can see, that they've had to adapt. They've had to look at other ways that they can provide their services with, uh, with taking into account social distancing and other factors. And so, like restaurants in particular, um, they've adapted to now doing offer curbside service. Um, you would out, can order on their websites. You can order over the phone. You can even pay that way. And then they'll just uh, text you a lot of times when you're at the curb and they'll bring the food out to that area. Um, you can also do that with uh, when they do delivery as well. A lot of them are doing what they call contact list delivery. Mm -hmm. You probably are familiar with that. And they will um, deliver the food and they will actually, you don't actually meet with them. They'll just let you know by uh, texting you or knocking the door when they left that food. One thing that maybe the average person might not really think about is the fact that um, most of the franchises that we drive by in, in these times are actually owned by local people and they're severely impacted by this as well. Yes, the local uh, franchisees and local businesses, as you can imagine, uh, these auto repair shops, um, you'll you'll see, or even the local uh, restaurants, um, they're local. They're, even though they might have a, a, a franchise, they are local, and they are here to serve you, the public, and they, those dollars go back into the community. So you really want to keep that in mind. That definitely promote and shop these, and and let them know that that you want them here and that you want to support them. All right, David, thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us and for all the assistance you guys are giving to these small businesses. People just have to get very creative right now, and a lot of them are figuring it out.